This thing smell old. It smells so old, like whatever scent it used to be, unscented. Gotcha. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Love Always Indoors. So for those of you who have never been here, welcome. And for those of you who have been, welcome back. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about a journey that I started going on during this pandemic. Um, something that I figured I should go ahead and take advantage of since I'm home, nobody sees me, I don't see anybody, I'm not out in public, and that is aluminum free. Why am I so... I'm happy to say that everything's been going really well and that I haven't worn deodorant since March 28th. But I wanna kinda step you through the process of how to go aluminum free. This goodie bag right here is the reason why I needed to go uh, all natural. Okay, let's just, let's just count it up, okay? I used to be a deodorant junkie and the reason I was a deodorant junkie is because I'm a sweater. And when I say sweater, I mean I be sweating. Now I can tell you this, I may be wet, but I'm never funky. Does that make sense? Okay, wet, but not funky. Like that's always been my thing. Like I have trouble controlling the amount of sweating that my body does, but at least I can control the stench, okay? So anyway, this is my little goodie bag to show you how far I have come with my deodorant life. So the reason I have so many deodorants is because my body would get used to the deodorant and then it would just stop working so then I'd have to switch. And I found myself constantly keeping my body guessing every two weeks or so switching out the deodorant so that I didn't have to deal with it just not working on me. So let's see what I got here. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Excessive, excessive. Okay, one, degree motion sense, 19.2% aluminum. So I'm gonna stack these up in order from most to least aluminum. Next, certain dry, clinical strength. Now you already know this stuff is strong, okay? This stuff is really strong. In fact, they tell you, if I'm not mistaken, to put it on at bedtime. Yep, apply only at bedtime. That's how strong this is. This is 25% aluminum. Next, suave 24 hour protection. Now I'll be honest with y'all, this was not for my armpits. This was my thigh deodorant. My thigh deodorant. For those of y'all who might not have thick thighs or don't deal with thigh sweat. Forget you, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, good for you. And it has 20% aluminum. Okay, suave. This was my gym bag deodorant. Uh, Dove Advanced Care. And it has 15.2% aluminum. Uh, Mitchum. This was my, this is when I started getting desperate and stuff wasn't working for me. This is 25%. I bought this deodorant, I've used it maybe twice. I was trying to get my arm picked, you know, smooth and silky and satiny, you know, all of that. Like, mm, it smells so good. Um, and it's 11.4% aluminum. Clinical strength. I've gone through so many clinical strengths over the years. This is the only one I have here in this bag. Um, clinical strengths are 20%. Gives me memories. In fact, this one kind of smells like a man. Next is Dry Idea. This was my modeling deodorant that I kept in my model bag. We were required to have a clear deodorant. And as you can see, it's not clear anymore. I was no longer using it, uh, but I apparently am a hoarder and I didn't get rid of it. So this one had 16.4% of aluminum. Next. Um, so this is embarrassing because um, this is just letting you know how I was just slapping stuff on my armpits without paying attention to what was in it and the ingredients. Um, maybe it's in English on this part. I ordered this off of eBay. It came from Asia, I think specifically from Thailand. Just to give you an idea, like this is what it, the words on it, they're not English letters. So I don't really know, but um, this is the Nivea Extra Whitening Antiperspirant. I cannot tell how much aluminum is in this problem. The point is that I was actually trying to lighten up my tone. As you can see, this is a second deodorant that is trying to lighten up my armpit tone. So yeah. Last one. I was about to say, this is Tom's, so it's aluminum free, but it's not. 
it is not. So this is the naturally dry Tom's, but it has 23% antiperspirant in it. And when I tell you this thing smell old, it smells so old, like whatever scent it used to be, unscented. Gotcha. So I'm gonna move out of the way so you can see the lineup. Yes, 10 deodorants, y'all. 10 deodorants from least to most antiperspirant. And when I tell you this is the one I use the most, that's interesting to me. Like, why would I do that to myself? Like, if I'm a sweater and I'm trying my best to use as much aluminum as possible to control my sweat, why did I find myself stuck on this one? It's because it was working at the time. My deodorants would work and then they wouldn't work. So even the ones with the highest amount of aluminum over time, stopped working eventually. So I had to switch it up. And I really probably was increasing my body's tolerance for aluminum, making myself need more and more and more and more aluminum at a time. So I have cut aluminum out completely. And when I say completely, I mean not just with my deodorant, but also with my uh, food. Basically, I went to a holistic doctor about a year ago and I had a biofeedback reading done and she was able to pick up a lot of aluminum in my system. With all the deodorant I was using, I'm not surprised. Not surprised at all. But also too, I was cooking with it and it does get in your food when you cook with it. I mean, it, it does. I decided I was gonna go on an aluminum free journey once COVID hit because I was like, hey, if I'm funky and if I'm sweaty, I'm at home funky and sweaty. You see what I'm saying? Like there's, I can, I can deal with that. I just took the plunge and I pretty much went cold turkey. So let me show you the deodorants that I've been using right now. And I realized throughout this video, I might've been calling all of these behind me deodorants, but really those are antiperspirant deodorants. So antiperspirant helps you to not perspire, right? Anti-perspiration. And then deodorant is for odor. So what I have now is simply to help control odor. It does not control the amount of perspiration that comes from my armpits, okay? So right now I have my mane. This is my mane, okay? This is the deodorant that I use on a daily basis. This is the Schmitz Patchouli Plus Hops deodorant. I'm very, very happy with it. Smells amazing. I like the patchouli scent. It's also formulated with hemp seed oil, but it does not have any THC or CBD in it, so you don't have to worry about that. I also keep a little tiny native in my purse. This is itty bitty. Um, I got this sample one from Target and it is the cucumber and mint one. And I keep this one in my purse just in case I need a little extra boost throughout the day, but I tell you, I have not needed anything. There was one more deodorant that I was using previously. I'm gonna put it on the screen because it was a liquid deodorant that I got from, I got online called Walita and it was rose and I was really happy with it. But unfortunately it was a glass bottle and I was toting it around everywhere and I ended up dropping it on my garage floor and it shattered. So I meant to repurchase, but I just haven't gotten around to it and this has been doing the job, so I stick with this. The only thing I have to say about this one is that it is very, very, very soft and it melts very easily and if you actually put it on your armpit, it will like smudge, like a whole lot of deodorant will come off because it just melts onto your arm. So I find it easier to just swipe a little bit with my finger and then apply it that way on both armpits. As far as moisture level, I do sweat. Obviously, I don't have antiperspirant. However, I don't feel like I sweat any more than I used to sweat using the antiperspirant deodorants. I feel like it's about the same, if not a little less. So with that being said, why was I literally just ingesting aluminum through my armpits? And then as far as the process, like I said, I went cold turkey. I just stopped doing it. I actually went several days without deodorant at all. I hadn't even made these purchases yet. I just, I was at home all day every day why not people will tell you that you need two or three weeks to detox and that often there is an odor that you'll experience during the detox process as your body is pushing the aluminum out and some of the bacteria on your armpit is meshing with the air and when it touches the sweat then it causes an odor like there's a lot of science behind it but in my personal experience i didn't really deal with a whole lot of odor if i'm running up to that time where i need to take a shower every day then obviously there might be a little something something but it would be something that i had to actively try to smell i had to do one of these numbers what i found to be really really great to help detox and pull some of that aluminum out i used the indian healing clay and all i did was mix this with apple cider vinegar and i 
put it on just like a mask on my face I put it on my armpits and that kind of helped purify my armpits just a little bit faster and like I said if I felt like I had a little bit of stench going on then that's what I would do but it was never unbearable and my sweating was never out of control I do however mind the things that I wear I've tried to be more mindful lately so I try to either wear um, no sleeves or something darker just until I get the hang of everything and I feel more comfortable going out just because I don't want sweat rings on my clothes and it's kind of inevitable now so still working that out I'll definitely have an update for y'all when I kind of figure out how to control some of that moisture in a more natural way but for now I'm very happy with these deodorants and I don't have any irritation for my armpits my armpits actually lightened up quite a bit when I started using all natural deodorants aluminum deodorants leave a little bit of a film on your armpits and uh, if you don't scrub that film off, it kind of builds up over time and it causes darkness, it can cause irritation, it can cause staining of your shirts. Um, and if you feel your armpit in the shower and it doesn't feel like a baby's bottom and it feels almost like there's like something rubbery or resistant on it, you probably still have deodorant left. I have a very extensive exfoliating regimen that I do in the shower to make sure that I'm getting all of the deodorant off. It's not really as necessary now that I'm using this opposed to antiperspirant, but I'm kind of in the habit of doing it. And because of my electrolysis journey, which I I will link below it is important that I make sure that I stay on top of my exfoliation so that I don't get too much discoloration I think that pretty much wraps it up I just kind of wanted to share my experience and for those of you who are interested in possibly switching to all natural deodorant I just want to encourage you and tell you that I highly recommend it while you're at home and while you're not going out that much it's the perfect time if you feel like you're struggling with odor do some Indian healing clay masks once or twice a week and also use antibacterial soap on your armpits the thing that's causing the odor is the bacteria, not the sweat itself. So if you get your armpits bacteria free, then sweating won't actually leave a smell. So that's something that a lot of people might not know and it's helpful um, when you just incorporate that into your shower routine. I wanna encourage you, like I said, leave leave anything in the comments if you have any questions, um, if you have any, uh, any specific deodorant that you would like me to review, just let me know and I will do my best to answer them um thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful to somebody out there also if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe make sure you click the notification bell so that you can be notified about my future uploads and see what's going on with me if you have any questions let me know and i'll see you in the next video thanks so much Bye bye